Today we're going to resolve an issue that plagues a lot of Quest 2 users, the perpetual black screen or black screen of death. So a customer sent this headset into us with a black screen of death and we actually already featured this headset in a video because when it came to us it had its head strap retainer screwed in here and you can actually still see those holes from the screws that we removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to resolve the black screen issue for this customer and I'm going to go ahead and replace that head strap retainer as well. Now just to give you a little bit more information on the black screen of death, perpetual black screen or black screen issue, you know, however you refer to it, there's a couple different things that actually cause this and they're very similar but distinctly different in what the hardware failure is. So for most customers what they're dealing with is a tracking lost loop. So one of the cameras on the outside of the headset is broken and that camera has to be replaced in order for the headset and the operating system to track the room properly. The second most common thing is that the facial proximity sensor on the face insert has failed or gone bad. Most of the time this is due to liquid damage or it's come unplugged, but sometimes it genuinely just has failed. On this headset it's definitely the proximity sensor and one way that I can tell that and differentiate from the tracking lost error is that one, the headset doesn't give me any alerts that tracking has been lost when I turn it on. And number two, if I turn the headset on and then let it power on and then hold the power off button to cycle it off and I get that menu where you can restart, power off, or cancel, if that menu is sticky as in it moves with your face and it moves around as you're moving, then it's a pretty good indication that one of the cameras has failed. But if it stays in place as though the room is being tracked, the floor stays where the floor is supposed to be, the ceiling stays where the ceiling is supposed to be, then it's a good indication that your proximity sensor is what's failed. The other indication that it's a proximity sensor issue is that you don't get any image at all unless you try to go into the bootloader. If you can still go into the bootloader by holding down the power button and the volume down button and you can see that screen, you can see that menu where you could factory reset your headset or boot the device or shut the device off, then it's a good indication that the LCD is functioning, there's just something else going on. If you can't see that menu at all, if it's totally black even when the headset's on and you try to go into the bootloader, then maybe your LCD's failed. That's probably the least likely cause of black screen, but we do see that sometimes. So your three main causes are bad camera, tracking lost error, that's perpetual in a loop. You've got your proximity sensor failure, which is usually indicated by not seeing the tracking lost error and not having the sticky menu screen. And then three, you've got your LCD failure, which means that you don't see any image at all, not even a backlight no bootloader, nothing. And because I've already diagnosed this headset and we had to take it apart a little bit in order to take these screws out and make sure that there was no other damage caused by those screws that were put in place, I've already taken the T2 screws out of this faceplate. So let's go ahead and pop this out and then we'll just replace this with a new one and see if it works. For this I just need my pry tool. We're going to pop the clips on both sides. Then we're going to lift up from the nose. Reveals this proximity sensor ribbon cable. And we're just going to undo this latch here. And then I can pull straight back to remove that. Now I'm going to get my replacement. One thing I want to check for before I install this is I kind of want to make sure that there's no corrosion or liquid damage on that extender cable. So the way that this cable works is the proximity sensor, this end here, plugs into this extension cable, which then routes underneath the battery and to the motherboard and it connects into this latch right here. So for all intents and purposes, this is just an extension cable, but it's a crucial one because sometimes we notice that these either break or get liquid damage in them from people's breath and sweat. Uh, so sometimes this can actually be functional and good, but this is bad. So I like to check that before I go ahead and install one of these, but that looks good to me. All right, now we're just gonna line these two up and that should slide right in. Once that's seated, I'm just going to double check, make sure that it's all the way in. And then we're going to take our tool and flip that latch down. Now I'll go ahead and boot the headset and make sure that it comes on. All right, and it looks like we've got some activity on the screen. If I remove my finger from the proximity sensor, it goes dark. And if I put my finger back on the proximity sensor, the light comes back on. So that seems like it's working. One other way to differentiate a broken camera on a tracking lost 
black screen versus a proximity sensor black screen is when you move your eyes, does the IPD adjuster inside the headset change? Do you see the number change on the LCD? Because if that's registering, the proximity sensor is probably good. Now that I know that's good, I can go ahead and clip this back in. Alrighty, and now we can put our T2 screws back in. I just need my T2 screwdriver, and they'll go in six places around the outside of the faceplate. All right, and that headset is good to go. Guys, if you like this video and you learned something, don't be afraid to like and subscribe. It really helps us out, helps our channel. And we're doing our best to do something here where we can help other people repair their VR equipment and devices as well. Be on the lookout for our video that we're launching this weekend because we are going to be doing another giveaway. We destroyed another headset in a pretty interesting way, and I think that you guys are going to want to see what we did. But that's all I got for this one. This headset's ready to go back to its owner, and we'll see you guys on the next one.